everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button down below, please do consider doing that. That way you will get alerted and hit that little bell next to it. You will get alerted to all of my new content coming out. And being that we are into the holiday season, almost, almost, there'll be a lot of content and then we'll have spring, you know, spring coming up there. And to all my returning favorites, welcome back. Glad to have you here. So today I'm going to talk about, and I've done this before, uh, basically it's uh, from Aldi, some candle products from Aldi. Um, it's been pretty popular this week. I, got, I actually got these last Sunday um, when I was there. But anyhow, so these, um, Aldi, right, Aldi is a discount, um, budget, uh, friendly uh, food store here in the United States as well as over in the UK and Europe. And what they have basically is they have their own in-house brands of, of food products, a whole bunch, and they do carry some of their uh, some name brand products as well. And their home uh, product department name is Huntington Home. So a few months ago, um, this was about last month I think, they had a couple uh, candles from Tuscany Candle, made by Tuscany Candle, but they were branded Huntington Home. And quarterly, they do wax melts, which I believe are made by Hannah's Candle Mart, I believe. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong. And then um, they had a Timberwick last year. They had Timberwick Candles, which is also Candle Mart, I think, Hannah's Candle Mart. Um, and they were made to look like Woodwick Candles. And they tend, and then, oh, the big one over the springtime were the Joe Malone dupes. They had three Joe Malone candles, basically Joe Malone uh, candles, looked identical, uh, smell identical, uh, and they were about an eighth of the price. So uh, they're not going to burn like a Joe Malone. Um, I did review them, so if you want to check the video out, um, I'll put the link down below from there. But here we have, they've copied Bath & Body Works before, but they haven't quite copied Bath & Body Works to this extent. So they've done similar scents, similar names. Uh, like last year they did Applewood Bonfire and they did uh, another Vanilla Marshmallow Pumpkin, I think last year, uh, or Vanilla Pumpkin. I'm not sure that that's the different one this year. But what they did this year was they literally took four scents from Bath & Body Works and basically <laughs> copied the names. So they're using the exact same names. They copied the labels from this year. So they didn't use labels from previous years. They literally used labels from this year. So that tells me that these candles were not even, or the labels weren't even a thought until, I don't know, a month ago, maybe two months ago. Um, you know, because the stuff came started coming out in like July and August. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they, as soon as they saw, they started, you know, producing them. Um, but so anyhow, and they're, they're $3.99, so they're 14.5 ounces. Um, they are a soy blend scented candle, uh, like Bath & Body Works. So I'll show you all three of them first here and we'll talk uh, more in depth. So here is leaves. So um, basically this is has a, a brown wax and the label. I don't know why it's not focusing, but you, uh, you guys get the point, see if you can focus. There we go. So we have leaves, we have three wicks. So cautious when you are purchasing these, look at the wick placement. Some of these wicks can be all over the place. So let's, um, let's take a look at the next one here, which is pumpkin marshmallow. And as you can see, the label is essentially the same again from this year, just some uh, minor, minor tweaks. And we have three wicks with the white wax there. And they're just plain, plain lids, nothing special. And then the last one I have here um, is cocoa, hot cocoa and cream. Once again, very similar labels. We got that, that diamond shape in the middle. We got that the light tan wax. And we got three wicks on there, uh, three wicks. So, so once again, these are three dollars and ninety nine cents. So they're four bucks. Can't go wrong. Now, 
I have a Burning Allegiant, obviously. I'm gonna talk, I'll talk more about these guys in a minute, but from last year, uh, the Applewood Bonfire, the Wicks got puny. They did. They had uh, short flames, but they're good candles to put into a candle crock, or if you want to put them under a lamp, you know, you, you can go that route as well. I want to say that these three candles here, there is a fourth one. The fourth one is Spiced Pumpkin. So, um, Cinnamon, cinnamon Spiced Pumpkin, I think, I know, it's something like that. But it's basically uh, Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, I didn't care for that one. That one just smelled off completely. These three are pretty close, with one of them being 99% identical, and then another one being like 95%, and one kind of is kind of there. It's not all the way there, but let's start off with the uh, the uh, the pumpkin marshmallow. So this is the interesting one because it does have. Um, a waxy smell to it. This is the only one out of the three I have here that have that waxy smell. And that waxy smell reminds reminds me of some of the candles from Mainstays. So um, from Walmart. The Mainstays ones tend to have uh, waxy smells to them and they're made by candlelight. So I'm not sure who these are made by. But it is pumpkin marshmallow made, made in the USA. So somewhere over here they're not importing it. And this, this is very close. It's it's certainly a marshmallowy scent, um, but it has a little bit of pumpkin spice going on in there. So it's like vanilla pumpkin spice, if I had to say so myself. And like I said, none these three scents I would not have purchased at Bath and Body Works. So it was not in my my realm. Um, pumpkin marshmallow is probably the closest one to my realm that I would burn um, and you know these wicks I'm sure you can see they're, they're thin they're thin thin wicks there um, but I mean the labels just uh, very uh, knockoffy so um, so that's nice if you like the pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works you're probably gonna like this like I said this one has that waxy smell to it the other two that I have here do not and that spiced pumpkin one just smelled completely off. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, now, leaves. This one is totally out of my... I mean, this is, like, potent. Like, just not my cup of tea. Not my kind of scent at all. I don't really enjoy apple scents. Um, except for that apple garland from Bath & Body Works is actually pretty nice. I'm liking that. But this is this is the one that is 95% um, close to um, Bath and Body Works uh, leaves. So if you like that <clears throat> that apple-y, like cranberry uh, note that leaves gives. I mean, if you're a fan of leaves. You're gonna like this. It is the strongest one out of the three that I have here for sure. Certainly the strongest one. So, <sighs> leaves is just an interesting candle to me. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of it, like I said. But it, I mean, you can see the oils. There, there are some oils like swirling around on top. So it does. It gives me a little bit of hope on this candle. So. I will burn them. I don't know if I'm going to do post-burn reviews on them because with Aldi, if you don't get it within the first two weeks of them being out, you're not going to get them because they only send each store so many. They don't replenish. And uh, the Joe Malone one stuck around for a while. Um, people were not digging those. I don't know what was going on with that. But the last one here, Hot Cocoa and Cream, it is like 99%. A, a, a dupe. I mean, just 99% just Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream. And I, I enjoy the scent. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy the scent. Um, it just... I don't know if I could have my house smelling like, like Swiss Miss hot chocolate all the time. I mean, I take my hot chocolate. I make it. I, I have K-cup versions of it. I have the powder. And I enjoy the smell of hot cocoa and cream. You know, hot chocolate, but I just don't know if I could have my whole house smelling like a cup of hot chocolate. You know, hey, that's just me. 
But if you like hot cocoa and cream from Bath and Body Works, um, if you like Swiss Miss hot chocolate, like this is certainly a powdered hot chocolate. This is not a, um, you know, take your uh, milk and um, take your uh, Hershey syrup chocolate and squeeze it and you know make it like that or however you else you would make hot chocolate. This is um, powder, a powder mix hot chocolate for sure. And you know, like I said, I like the scent and for four dollars I'm all in. But if I'm spending nine dollars when they're on sale for candle day or you know anything like that, count me out. Just count me out on that. I'm sorry, it's just not me. I'd rather um, put my money towards a candle like the Great Outdoors. Now we're talking. Stay tuned for a review of this. Um, so that's what I have for, for you for Aldi. I know it's kind of like, well, if you like leaves from Math and Myrix, you're going to like leaves here. So it's just, mm, it is what it is. Um, there's not much to say uh, about them other than if you like leaves from Math and Myrix, you're going to like leaves from Huntington Home and Aldi. Um, so like I said, just be careful of the wicks. Wick placement, they might not burn great. Um, they are a soy blend, so keep that in mind. Um, as our Bath and Body Works, they are a soy blend. Um, so who knows, maybe they're made by the same company. Don't know. All right guys, so that's what I have for you. Um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've picked these up, if you've seen them, um, what your experience has been with other Huntington Home 3 Rec products. I'd love to hear from you. So, all right guys, with that said, I'll see y'all real soon. And stay